so I'm literally just about to leave but um basically I signed up to well, I don't really know what it is but I got this email from the university and they're like oh this I think she's a student like a fashion student or something or photography um she needs like volunteers to model in like a photo shoot or something I really didn't get much information but I was like yeah sure I'll do it and now it's today and like I'm really scared <laughs> I'm honestly really nervous like I've never done anything like that before but yeah I have to go to class first and then I'm going there so I'll see if I can record anything but if not I'll just give an update <laughs> wish me luck so I just got back home um you can probably tell it was the makeup artist's first time doing um makeup on someone who wasn't Japanese <laughs> so yeah they gave me this like huge blue thing sort of blue and green which to be fair it's not bad like for a first attempt it's really not bad but it's not something I would do for myself I actually never wear blue or green eyeshadow just because my eye colour is like a bluey grey so it looks a bit strange if I wear blue eyeshadow I think anyway I tend to go for like reds and oranges so yeah but I don't know I think this looks quite good and the eyeliner was okay so to be honest it was like a really weird experience because when I got there <clears throat> I was like literally the only person there that was um, not Japanese and they were all like sitting there and talking in Japanese like really fast and then one of them <laughs> said when the person in charge of this whole thing came in she said in Japanese but I understood she was like can you check if she speaks Japanese <laughs> And she asked me in English and I was like, yeah, a bit, a bit, and they were like, oh. <laughs> but, um, no, first of all, I was very confused about the schedule because it moved and I think it was delayed, but I was supposed to be ready and, like, have my pictures be taken at three o'clock, but I think it ended up being about four or something that I actually started having them done, so... Yeah, I just sat there for ages, like, twiddling my thumbs with no makeup done because I was, like, too, too shy and confused to ask because I was like, I don't want to interrupt them and then they're like, you know, why is she being like this? But, yeah, so I did that. I just sat there and then I think I was actually the last one to get my makeup done and then the last one to do all the photos and it was really awkward because when I was getting my makeup done they just sort of sat there and they were like taking pictures and it was dead silent and they were all staring <laughs> which it wasn't like for anyone else but yeah I, it was my first time having my makeup done by someone as well actually it was really mm, it was a strange feeling like it's hard not to make your eye twitch <laughs> when someone's like right on top of your eye but I got used to it and it was actually quite therapeutic after a while and then we went down <laughs> the place we did the pictures wasn't even like a room it was just the entrance to the University McDonald's which was fun because there was people just walking past constantly and seeing me standing there posing for some reason I actually didn't feel self-conscious, like I didn't even notice the people. I think maybe because like I knew that they knew it was just a photo shoot, like an actual photo shoot because there was a photographer and there was like uh, the person in charge and they were holding like the outfits to change into. So <clears throat> I think it made me feel a bit better actually that other people knew what was going on and that it wasn't just like me taking a selfie for Instagram 
I feel like I would be really self-conscious if it was just that, but yeah, for some reason that setting made me feel a bit better. But then, I know, like I said, it was my first time ever doing anything like that. And um, I really didn't know what to do. Like, I had no idea what poses to stand in. Not, I didn't know what to do with my face. I didn't know what to do with my hands. I didn't know how to like stand with my legs. I was like, do I bend one knee? Um, all my pictures are gonna be like bent with that one knee. I should change it up, but like, how do I change it up? And then, I don't know. I felt like I wasn't getting a whole lot of direction from anyone. They were just like, oh, can you turn this way, please? And that was it. Like, <laughs> I guess they wanted us to be like free, but I, I kind of would have liked to know what they wanted from me. Like whether they wanted me to smile or not smile or look at the camera or look away or, you know. But, there we go. <laughs> it was actually quite fun. I think I would do something like this again. I've like, I've kind of wanted to do modeling for a while. But um, I suppose it's just a confidence thing. I don't know. It was fun though. I would definitely do it again. And yeah, if there's some pictures posted, well then I'm sure I've already put it in over my talking. But if not, this is what I look like. <laughs> yeah, we had to change well, I wore four of the same shirt, just in different colours. Um, it was like a black, uh, red, white, and sort of a dark army green. And then she was putting like these weird, I don't know what to call them, like almost like sashes, but not, but they were patterned with sort of an, an African sort of style pattern um but yeah she was like putting those on us in different ways um yeah so the whole thing actually was for the fashion student i think her it's her coursework to like make a brand so she had to like find models to model her brand and um that's what we were doing. So I guess the sashes and the t-shirts were part of that brand that she has to advertise. So I hope I did well. I hope she gets a high mark. <laughs> and I'd actually really like to do it again. So yeah. That's the exciting news for this week. Um, also, I did get my exam back. And like I thought, I did badly. Because I only got 80%. And I should have done better, but next time, next time I'll do better. I'll try at least. See ya!